Okay. Positive mindset. Believing you can is probably more than halfway of being there. All right. If you don't think you can, you never will. If you think you can, you will eventually. It may take some time. It may not, depending on other factors. But if you believe you can, you can. And that's all there is to it. Um, you want to take out all the negatives in your life, okay? Or in your, in your words, in your thoughts. Because you are what you believe. And you believe what you think. And you can change how you think by changing the words that you think, okay? It, it's, it's a whole formula and it's really easy once you figure it out and once you understand it, okay? Um, there is, what did I, I don't remember who it was, but I learned this thing, it was, uh, it's unconsciously incompetent, consciously incompetent, consciously competent, and unconsciously confident. Okay, what that means is when you're unconsciously incompetent, it means you don't know what you don't know, right? If you have never seen a shoelace in your entire life, you don't know that you don't know how to tie your shoes. You know, you don't know what you don't know. Um, consciously incompetent means that now you know that shoelaces exist and you know that there is something that you can't do, but you still can't do it, okay? So that's consciously incompetent. Um, consciously competent means that you now know how to tie your shoes, but you kind of have to think about it, okay? And then unconsciously, uh, unconsciously competent means that you can just do it second nature. You don't have to think about it anymore. And, and it's the same thing with changing your thoughts and your words and your beliefs into positivities because uh, like attracts like, okay? If, you're, if your words are negative, they're going to attract negative things. And if your words are positive, they're going to attract positive things, okay? So take out all the negatives. Take out all the, the can'ts and the don'ts and the, the couldn'ts and the shouldn'ts and the won'ts and the, like all the negatives, okay? You don't want a single negative anywhere. And um, there's also like a more in-depth thing to this to where like, because I believe that your words are like spells, okay? That's how I explain it to my husband all the time. Your words are like spells, okay? Um, if you don't want it to happen, don't say it. Even in even in the negative, not happening form, like like if you don't want to get sick, don't say I hope I don't get sick, because the universe doesn't understand negatives, and it, it only understands literal literal terms or little or literal words. I don't I don't understand like. Well, I do understand. I don't know how to explain it. Um, like, if you say, I don't want to get sick, the universe doesn't understand the don't want part. It just, under it, all it heard was, I want to get sick. And, like, I, I feel uncomfortable telling you this because I'm saying these things. Um, so, take out all the negatives. You just, if you if you don't want to get sick, just ignore it. Don't say it, don't think about it, don't pay any attention to it whatsoever, and because giving it attention is giving it energy, okay? And so, it's all the, the law of attraction, and yeah, so if, if you do negative things, you know those negative people, right? People who no matter what, they're always negative. And if you pay attention, negative things seem to follow them. Okay? Positive people, positive things seem to follow them, right? Like, I know I know two people in particular that I know. Uh, one of them, I have never seen her not smile. Okay? Like, she is... Think of the most positive, happy-go-lucky person you possibly could, and this is her. She's just happy and giddy all the time, okay? All the time. And um, 
she's like on the fast track being an awesome lawyer and like all sorts of things like she's totally the opposite of what you would think a lawyer would be but i love her she's great and i've never seen anything happen bad to her at all whatsoever she's just happy and positive all the time and that's what you want to that's what you want to be like and then there's this other my other friend who she actually had a really rough childhood but she still she always smiles and she's always happy and she's always just you know positive and um, she's also doing amazing in her life okay but then I have other friends well not really anymore but I have other people that I used to be friends with who are super negative all the time like all that ever came out of their mouth was negativities and they're, you know, they have things that happen to them and things that don't go as planned. And so you, you attract everything that you say. And so you want to stick away from the positive, or the negatives as best as you possibly can. And that's where the, the consciously competent stuff comes from because you'll have to think about it for a little while and you'll be catching yourself. Like you'll say it and then you'll be like, wait and then you'll fix it. And then slowly over time, you'll fix it entirely. And that's what you wanna to aim towards, okay? So getting rid of all the negatives. Um, be really, really assertive in the way that you say that you're going to accomplish this goal, okay? Whatever goal that you're trying to accomplish on this journey of this course. Um, talk about how you can't wait until. And, cause there's, there's, when you get into like how you speak your words and everything, you find eventually that like it starts with the positivities and the negativities, but then it also comes later. I don't even know if I should tell you this because it's so like complicated and in depth, but um, you want to take out the, the future tenses also because the presence is now, okay? And so you don't want to, you don't want to say when this happens or this will happen you need to speak as though it already has because you don't want to leave it in the future does that make sense um when you say something will happen you leave it in a tense of to come into being like it hasn't come into being yet and it, it, it leaves it like in suspense kind of whereas this has happened or this this happens is better like um, don't say I will do this but even though <laughs> I don't want to confuse you guys I don't want to confuse you guys so just ignore all that the past tense and present tense type things for the time being and just worry about the positives and the negatives all right maybe I'll cover the past and the present and the future thing later but if it made sense to you, great. If it don't, don't worry about it. Just do the positives and eliminate the negatives of your of your vocabulary and just do positives, okay? Encase yourself in a bubble of positivity at all times and you'll start seeing things turn out better.